Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fascination, and I would like to thank McCall's Pattern Company and the opportunity from Fabric Mart for the Yellow Dress Challenge. But I have to say, it's a cute pattern. Don't get me wrong, it is a cute pattern. The only thing is it's much desired is when you have to think about we big busty gals. Now, I cut this pattern. You're like, yeah, but you just stretched it. Um, it won't be able to fit right. You don't give us the opportunity to... I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not bad, but I know that you could strive better for we bigger gals. Um, we bigger gals do have a struggle on a daily basis. Um, so this is my finished look. But as you can see on the back of the bodice, the and you said you could use a gingham, which I'm using. And it does have a yellow in it. But you know what? The bodice is better as a vest. I'm sorry that I have to say that. It was a two-piece part that was supposed to be put together as one. I do, like I said, thank you for the opportunity. I do, as you can see, have pockets in it. One of your pocket pattern pieces was smaller than the other, and I cut them to the same size. Um, as you can see, it doesn't fit right in the belly area. I don't have my corset on. Um, my bobbin went haywire a few minutes ago. Um, but if you're big busted like me, um... Uh, this is a vest now. There you go. I did my best and now the bodice is a vest. It is cute. I don't know if you want to count it. You can count it if you feel like it. But your pattern is a fail for we voluptuous chicks. Okay. Like sweeties. You need to give the opportunity for a D cup, a D cup to be able to fit this. Now, mind you, I used to be a double D cup and I still would have had a problem with the pattern if my breasts were still out to Bazankaville. Um, but now they're down to just a single D. And in the 40s, single D. Um, and you don't, you don't give enough room for the busted chick. I mean, I literally have to pull, pull this. I mean, it fits like a little bit here. And there. And that's it. That's, but it's gapping. It gaps. It would end up gapping right here. And do you see what it does to the tummy? That's not flattering at all. So, like I said, I do give you a thank you. Um, so, I did get the stitching done. As you can see. As you can see. I even got some darts in. Got a dart in here. And it got a dart in here. But putting it on, I should not have to see that pocket. Um, and why do I say this? Now, I'll come back to those red pants that I made. Okay. My red pants that I had made, I will use as an example Okay, um, and these red pants have a pocket, 
but look how clean that is compared to what the freak happened. What's going on here? <laughs> um, so, I mean, I can put in a different pocket into this and see what happens, but there's nothing to let out because I let it out as much as possible. But I think it's time to revise these patterns that I will show you. Your models have no shape. I'm not bashing on you because I used to be a model, but your models, where's their chest? Where's their hips? Where's, look, I'll take this off. Where is their shape? I'm just saying, I'm just saying because I have on a proper bra. In fact, I have on a Playtex 18 hour to be specific. And like I said, even though you said we could use a gingham, this is what happens to the gingham on the back. Okay, look, it looks funky. Um. I still have the purple fabric cut so I can redo it. I can still do it with the purple. I still have time. But with the gingham, I'm actually glad that I did this one first. That other fabric costs more than this fabric. Okay. Um or would have. It was in my stash of what I bought from Sam's Fabrics. And like I said, I still want to thank you for the opportunity to at least put this one in. Because this was my mock-up. And um, so I can say I got my mock-up done. Uh, I have a vest to wear. Even though it's kind of funky. Um, but I will have to totally cut out both sides. I only have one yard of this fabric left. But I'm thinking, okay, I would have to pull a different color to put on the sides for accent. Okay, you get what I mean with that. Um, but there's absolutely no way... There's just no way, not with big chest. You you needed to revise the pattern. Now I'm not mad at it. It's not an ugly pattern. It's a rather nice classy. I'm gonna say this is a nice classy 1970s style design. Um, in the history bounding community, we would consider this to be a 1970s style revised pattern. So, um, like I said, I'm not mad at it, but I'm not thrilled with the fact that in the instructions, you don't include anything for curvy checks. There's really not a lot of instruction to this, um, in the paper. I mean, I've been doing patterns for years, and I have to give this one, look, I'll be fair about this, I'll give you a D. <laughs> Instead of an F, I'll give you a D. Okay, I'll grade you, I'll just give you a D, because I was determined to get this done. I was determined to have it out before the competition ends, which is on the 10th, which also gives me time to put that purple fabric together. Um, yeah, 
gives me an opportunity for that. I will thank you again. Um, but as for Vogue, McCall's Vogue pattern 1671, it is not made for big busty chicks. It is just not made for busty people. So I will put this video up on my YouTube, do another one for Instagram. For some reason, my phone battery went and um, right in the middle of a call. So I have to call my friend back in a moment. Um, but like I said, I have to thank you for the opportunity to at least use my mock-up for this. Because hey, it does have yellow in it. You said it didn't have to be done with yellow. Um, that's also why I have the purple. There's another competition going on. And they said if you need to redo or revise something that you worked on, maybe I'll just throw this one in there if you don't mind. But again, this is not made for the busty chick. Um, so let's see what happens with the purple fabric. I have it cut to these same measurements. I re-measured myself against the pattern. And now the pattern's supposed to fit, supposed to fit me a bit bigger. We will see. So it doesn't exactly mean I'm out of the competition for this. It just means we shall see. We shall see. This one will be revised for the other competition going on on Instagram. So don't be upset about that. Um, which is for um, another fabric dealer, Mood. So I will revise this for Mood. And um, basically, I'll be revising the skirt. That's, that's the only thing I'll be revising for this is the skirt and see what happens. Um, and then... Yeah, like I said, I still have the purple. We'll see what happens with that and hope that it comes out better than the mock-up. But, you know. It does look like something Medea would wear. It does. It looks like something Medea would wear. Um, and like I said, the pockets did come out different. And I don't know why they're just like, and I don't have my, uh, my corset on today. I just don't, it wouldn't matter anyway, having the corset on. But like I said, as for the fit in this, it doesn't fit the chest. So please remember, and maybe this is a teaching thing. There you go. That's what I'm about. I'm about educating um, and having fun with you guys. And, you know, I'm working on losing more of this part of moi and my hips. And, you know, then, look, if I, I'm just going to be straight up truthful with you. If I was back down to 140 pounds, I would look like the models in the picture, okay, in this area. Not here, but in this area. I would look like back in 2002 when I was a model, skin and bone. Um, I don't want to see women thinking that they have to look like the model in the picture because we're not built like them. Most of the time those models aren't even 18 or 21. And I'm going to tell you the truth on this. Maybe they aren't for McCall's Vogue. 
Maybe they are a little older. Maybe they're in their 20s. But I'm just going to say I'm going to give you a D for this. You do deserve at least a grade point. Um, hey, you know what? This is that teacher's outfit. <laughs> that teacher that came at you and gave you some sort of grade. Um, but yeah, that that's just not going to fit. Not even putting in the zipper. That's just not going to do anything for this. So... I thought about it, I measured it out, I did the math, and the math says not going to work. So, not going to work. Now, what it would work with is changing this out, put on a pair of jeggings, or a pair of jeans, and then the top would go with the pair of jeans. Or maybe uh, a nice pencil skirt, which this is not. But, um, although it's sort of trying to fit like one. Look, right now it's like two pigs trying to fit in a blanket. Uh, and that doesn't work for me. And if you look right here, it didn't... It did something funky right there. I'm just going to say that. That did something funky. And I think it might be because of the pocket lay. Because I have the invisible hemline right here. Because I did the hemming like this. Don't worry, you're not going to see my whatnots and whatevers. Um, because I hand stitch under... And then did that, but I hit the rest of my machine today. Boom, knocked that out. And made sure it wasn't rolled too far in. Or it would have been back here instead of where it is now. So, like I said, you know, using my mock-up first, I can say no to big-chested women for this. Okay. I still have my purple one. Maybe I can adjust the bodice. Just saying. Maybe I can adjust the bodice. And the skirting. But I really don't have much purple fabric left to be able to do that. I only have a yard. All I have left is a yard. Um, because that took them almost 10 yards of fabric all that and um wow 10 yards of fabric is a lot of fabric and that's not even for something that's a historical garment although I can count this as historical absolutely it's just like I said it's kind of a mess it's kind of a mess so this is how I say this. This is your learning opportunity from Char, the educational channel. <laughs> so everybody out there, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. My hip hurts. I need to change into some pajama. Check my phone and see if it's charged enough, which I doubt. Um, no, it's not. And I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Because you know what? Tomorrow's another day. There's still things to sew. To no one's sew. Um, and my bobbin went haywire. Maybe that was a message from the sewing machine gods. Um... <laughs> The all-knowing, the all-knowing, Shar Psychic Network, knowing something wasn't going to be right with this. I knew that right out the door, something was not going to, I already knew something was going to go, no. So, 
I will see you in the next one for selling the purple one. This was my mock-up, but I was going to enter this in anyway. There you go, you know? See you later.